Hey, Lego fans, it's Bricks on a Budget with another video. So I decided I would cover the set 66775, also known as the 2-in-1 Hoth gift set for Star Wars. This set right now is going for $45 and is a whopping 691 pieces. The AT-AT and the uh, Battle Pack, the Hoth, Imperial Troopers Battle Pack. Um, just, uh, they both came out last year. However, uh, I did buy a bunch of these. I did not buy this set right here with the ATAT -AT, simply for the fact that I already had two ATATs. I had the original ATAT -AT from a few years back. It's just like a standard ATAT. -AT. And um, I also had the one from. The Mandalorian, so I just, you know, I just kind of like, er, you know, and it was fifty dollars, and even at fifty dollars, um, this set would have been worth it. Um, there's a few key features that I did not realize about this particular set, the um, the ATAT -AT set itself. And um, first and foremost, is, first and foremost, is the fact that you. Oh, by the way, this is a Walmart two-in-one pack. I don't know if I said that or not. So if you want this, if you haven't bought um, either of these or you're just army building and you want more, um, $45 is an amazing deal. Go to walmart.com or even your local Walmart and see about picking these up. I did not find this in the normal Lego aisle, by the way. This was like in another aisle and each Walmart's different. So, you know, it could be on an end cap. It could be, you know, God only knows. It just depends on your Walmart. So look around. Worst case scenario, stop a Walmart employee and ask them, hey, where's your two-in-one and your three-in-one um, Lego gift, gift uh, uh, sets at? They might be able to show, uh, point you in the right direction. So um, this Chewbacca is actually a variant. I did not know about this Chewbacca. Um, I've seen this set last year, and I basically was like, eh, I don't really, you know, I could do without another ATAT, -AT. uh, but, you know, this is so you can see the snow on his fur and the snow at his feet and so that alone just was like wow i was like i'm glad i did not miss out on this set um you don't get a lot of variants for chewbacca there was only one other variant of chewbacca that i knew of that um it came in a um, advent calendar years ago and he was all his entire fur was all white and then he had like a red and green uh like Christmassy like belt so i thought that was pretty cool also he comes with one of these new crossbow stud shooters so i thought that was pretty cool you stick a stud in there you press the button the stud goes flying so you know um adds a little playability to chewbacca um you get a uh hoth rebel trooper uh female uh woman if you will uh, she's got a nice little white backpack on you know uh, nothing special there i mean we've seen those uh um, troopers before so uh you get the atat -AT driver i really like uh his uniform is like uh, white and off-white and then he's got a uh, really cool print for his helmet he's got those like that little visor there on top of his helmet looks pretty cool makes him kind of stand out a bit also um there i haven't seen a probe droid in any other sets for quite a while i don't think so the fact that you get a buildable probe droid is very cool to me um i might actually uh build a few more and then uh basically modify it a little bit for my um uh fallen order uh collection and uh okay now there's the walker itself which is very very cool um i'm imagining this is probably a grenade launcher you got the standard uh sponson weapons on the front you then have the uh there's some of these flick fire missile launchers kind of hidden right next to the gun there and then you have this uh, laser uh, sponson on the side of the head there too. 
and then just like all and then the, you'll notice the difference with this and other ATATs is that it has these flaps probably to, to help guard from uh, snow blindness for the driver it's got a hatch that opens up on top and then this entire hatch also opens up where you can put the driver in and then it's got little clips where you can put uh, binoculars and a weapon and uh, oops just like some of the other ones that I built it's got this little play feature where you got this knob on the back so you can turn its head by turning this knob on the back the other ATATs that I built also have that so all in all very very cool set um, and then like I said I'm sure you probably already seen this battle pack it came out last year you get this little barrier and it's got a little clip you can put binoculars on it's got a pretty simple tripod uh, turret it's got this stud shooter thing on top makes it look a little clunky quite frankly in my opinion you get a uh, hold on you get a scout trooper and you get three of these snow troopers um, they're all three of these are basically the same pretty good print like I said if you've seen this you know I'm sure you've seen this battle pack before by now already chances are um, the one thing I have to complain about with this uh, battle pack is the speeder you can't sit down because the way you build it you cannot uh, sit the uh, scout trooper down and it's so uh, it's kind of odd um, what's interesting about these minifigures however is how how do you say you have a variety of different ethnicities I guess I don't know the best way to say that so I because I don't want to offend anybody but it's interesting because there's no point in it I mean you could literally do like just faceless heads and put put the helmets on top and I don't think anybody would really care that much or just you know most of these used to come with just standard like clone heads I think um, but yeah so you get um, she's got a little bit of a darker skin uh, tone and then this is probably you know close to a clone head you would get see the difference um so that's to me that's interesting so and then you get and not only that then you got a you got a female head here too which is cool it's interesting and then here you go it's like what the um i mean i really don't care i think it's cool and then you have another female head but this one's so it's just uh <laughs> so when i first got one of these uh my first question was why um you know diversity and all that you know i guess you know i'm not mad about it it's just i think it's interesting if anything oops i put the wrong helmet on the scout trooper um so at any rate I mean you could replace any of these heads with any heads you want really and you can turn around and use these heads to make other uh, minifigures and stuff you know so because it gives you a great variety of uh, different heads um, that you can use to do other things with so you know that's a you know that's a plus in my book it's interesting uh, so I, and I don't think this is the only um, minifigure pack um, or battle pack that did this recently but it's just interesting because these are the uh, Imperial troops so it just my whole my whole thing was you know more or less why what's the point because they're, they're wearing helmets so you know I don't know if that was a statement to be made when they they made that decision you know 
from Lego or what what the deal was. But it's interesting regardless. Um, I feel like that there's more conversation to be had with that, um, but I don't want to get into it. And like I said, I don't want to say the wrong thing and offend anybody, so I'm trying to tiptoe around that uh, subject. I just think it's uh, interesting. Um, I don't understand what the point would be. So may, maybe, maybe you know, yeah, I don't know. But it's cool. You know, I like it. It's interesting. So let me stop rambling. Let's get back to the thing at hand. So um, like I said, for $45, you're getting uh, 691 pieces. If you count the probe droid, you're actually getting eight minifigures for $45. Eight minifigures, okay? So, you know, five, let, let's say, say you buy a blind pack for $5, right? So you got twenty forty dollars worth of minifigures right there, blind pack. If you if you want to consider that even, so just minifigures alone, you got forty dollars worth of minifigures. If you want to look at it that way too, plus this huge build, plus this these little builds over here. Um, so I mean, you know, that too, you know. So any way you cut it, any way you cut it, guys, this is an incredible deal. And not you do not want to sleep on this deal. If you already have it, or and you just want to army build, I suggest picking up more. Um, or if maybe you don't have it, or you know somebody um, that likes Lego Star Wars, you know, buy this as a Christmas gift. You yeah, know, this this is a no brainer. This is probably hands down one of the best bangs for your buck in a while other than maybe clearance um and it's the middle of october and i haven't seen squat for clearance um i haven't seen any deals that really wowed me you know on good lego sets you know um this is probably one of the top ones in a while so um you know that's my thoughts on it you know uh so at any rate, I'm not, I'm going to stop rambling here before I say something <laughs> unfortunate <laughs> or yeah. So at any rate, if you like content like this, I got more content on the way. Uh, please like and subscribe and uh, hit that bell for future notifications. Trying to get to 100 subscriptions by winter, I'm hoping. Uh, thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for watching. This is Bricks on a Budget telling y'all, get built. And get out there and get, get this set, guys. Bye.